Hi everybody, G here. Today we're in the bee yard and we're going to be doing a treatment for varroa mites using formic acid. I do have another video that I've made previously showing one technique. This time I'm using something different. So if you have ever wondered how to treat your hives with formic acid, this is the video for you. As I mentioned before in previous videos, the varroa mite is one of the key pests that you need to at least be aware of as a beekeeper and especially in this area here where I live in in Ontario. Uh, the reason is that if the mite uh, population gets out of control in your colony it will impact the development of the new bees and at this time of the year, you know, we're uh, almost towards the end of September, these colonies are already starting to produce the bees that will make them last for the winter, the winter bees. Uh, the winter bees are different than the summer bees. They are genetically um, engineered uh, to uh, be able to store more body fat and will actually live longer. But those bees don't really go out and forage. Their job is, in a nutshell, to hold on through the winter, keep the hive alive, and uh, until the queen in the spring is able to resume laying her eggs and start what will be the next crop of bees for next year. If you have a lot of mites um, in your colony when those winter bees are being uh, developed, you know, when they're, they're hatching, uh, it, it could significant, significantly impact the likelihood of your colony making it through the winter. And especially our harsh Canadian winters here, um, we want to make sure that we um, do everything we can to prevent that. The advantage of formic acid is that the vapors of the formic acid can actually penetrate through the wax combs and directly affect you know, and kill the mites that are inside the capped brood. And uh, since I do have a lot of brood in these um, colonies right now, I need to make sure that if there's any varroa mites inside with the brood that it gets killed. So this is what we're going to do today uh, and what we're going to need is shop towels and some little like zip top bags. So I'm going to show you my method. This is the type of uh, formic acid I'm using. It's a 65%. It's designed especially for the use in beekeeping. Uh, I know one of the most frequently asked questions I got on my previous video was where do I get this stuff? Well, if it's legal in the area where you live, your beekeeping supplier will have some in, in stock. That's, that's guaranteed, it's, it's a very common product. The formic acid and the oxalic acid is, uh, is uh, very common for treatment. There's a lot of other products that are based on formic acid that, so that you don't have to deal with the liquid. Um, just con consult your, your beekeeping supplier and they will, uh, they will help you. Okay, now, so this is an acid, it's a chemical, so it, it's, it's, it can be toxic and quite dangerous for your lungs. So it's important to take uh, safety precautions. Please do your own research. What I do is uh, wear gloves are uh, known to be uh, resistant to acids. A respirator, because you don't want this in your lung. And uh, what you'll need um, to, to prepare your formic acid for your hives is, uh, I use blue shop towels because they, they're a bit more robust than the regular paper towels and you need a tablespoon. So the rules for this product that I'm using is that um, I need approximately two tablespoons uh, for two supers. So on all my, my hives, I have two brood boxes that I need to treat. So I need two tablespoons if only if you uh, use only one brood box, then you use half the amount. But this is all into the instructions uh, that come with uh, the formic acid. So um, yours could be different. This is uh, these are the instructions for mine, but uh, it should be pretty similar. So let's gear up and then I'll show you what to do. So the first thing is easy. You take uh, one sheet of this uh, shop towel, you fold it I fold it in four because that fits kind of the size of the uh, those zip zip top or ziplock bags that I'm going to use. You want it to be able to fit in, and actually, once it's cut, you uh, put it into the bag. 
And once it's into the bag, you will simply need to pour our formic acid in it. And uh, so what you do, you fill it, you go and you pull it, pour it on the paper towel. So right, and then you close it off. And uh, I took my respirator off now but you will notice if your respirator is not is not uh, properly fitted to you you you'll feel it in your nose and you don't want that it is it is toxic the thing is the the, the vapors um, will be toxic to the mites but they're not toxic to the bees not saying that the bees are necessarily liking liking it but um, they'll be able to tolerate it now what's really really important when you do this is that you do not want to treat when the temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the reason is that if it's too hot, uh, you're going to get way too many too much vapors coming out of the bag and that could really impact your colony. It could potentially hurt your queen. You don't want that. So the, the label clearly states between, uh, it has to be when, ideally it's between 10 and, and 30, 30 degrees Celsius. And this is why I usually don't treat in the middle of the summer with this. Uh, you do it, I do it early in the spring to make sure that uh, there's no mites um, when the colony is starting to get into gear for the spring. And then at this time of the year, after the honey harvest. So I've already harvested all my honey. I uh, have some boxes there. And then we're going to treat that. You have to check with your area. If you are, if you are able to use formic acid with your honey supers on or not. Uh, some places you can, some places you can't. Uh, I believe that most areas now uh, have deemed the formic acid to be safe enough to use with, without uh, having to remove your honey supers. So how does this work? I'm going to explain it to you very quickly. I'm going to use these uh, honey supers as an example. So imagine these are your two brood boxes and you'll see that later when we go in the bee yard. All we're going to do is open, open the colony, um, go on the top of the second brood box. We're going to lay this on top and then I'm going to use a razor blade and make uh, and cut the top of the plastic, just the top portion. What's going to happen is that as the, um, with the heat of the colony, uh, the, as the formic acid will start to evaporate, but the formic acid vapors are uh, heavier than the ambient air. So the vapors will come out of the bag and seep through and get down through your two brood boxes. And that's it. And we leave it there. And ideally, we repeat this, tri this treatment um, at least three times every five days is usually what I do. So it's going to be three uh, treatments. And you'll notice on the first day that you put that, that the bees will get a bit excited. Um, I usually will block my top entrance so that the only uh, ventilation available is through the, the bottom. And uh, some of my hives have screen bottom boards, some don't have any. I don't really bother blocking, blocking it. Uh, at the end of the day, the vapors will come down and uh, exit through the bottom. So, let's take this to the bee yard. Okay, I'm in my bee yard now. I'm going to show you with one colony. We're going to do the number one, the blue hive. And all I'm going to do after is repeat the same process for all eight of them. And uh, I mentioned earlier that I've already extracted the honey from these colonies. What's the and the reason why they have a medium box on is because there was still a lot of bees into these colonies after I extract I took the honey um, from it and uh, I just gave them back an extra box of extracted frames so they're able to actually take that honey and take it back and uh, what I'm going to do uh, once they have cleaned these boxes I have some other boxes because they each had about two of them I'll just switch it so they can again clean up my the uh, the medium frames. So that's it. So let's get going with Blue Hive. Right, so I've taken the 
roof off all i'm gonna do is lift this box put this on top but first i use a razor blade and very gently i'm gonna score score the score the top and make some lines so that the vapors can come out and i just use a razor blade and uh, how you can see now that the bag oh. and that's that's sufficient so i've made five different five little slits i'll make another one here that's it we're gonna drop it on there there you go, I lifted, I put the bag on the top. I'm gonna close it. Try not to squeeze any beans. And that's it. We're gonna put the roof back on. And that's it. Uh, the bees are very cranky today. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna leave that on. And uh, in uh, three to five days, I'm gonna come back take it out, repeat the process, change the bag, and then uh, we're gonna do it three times. And that's it. This is how you treat for mites using formic acid. At least that's how I do it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in, uh, in the comment section. I'll, I'll try to answer you the best I can. And again, like this is how I do things. doesn't mean it's the best way. Uh, I know that this is, uh, a method that other beekeepers use as well and uh, later in about a month from now I'll be treating with oxalic acid using a vaporizer and that will be the last treatment for the uh, for this year so again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time